Uh, what we've got up on the board today, guys, is chest, shoulders, and back. Uh, for your warm up, just to get your heart rate up, get your shoulders and chest nice and loose, take 100 jumping jacks, okay? And just to wake your body up a little bit. After you do 100 jumping jacks, we had a good old fashioned get through workout, which means you can go in any order you want to on your sections here. Uh, but when you get done with each, you got plus two pull ups, okay? Nothing crazy. Uh, so on your lighter rounds, maybe work on using a thinner band, maybe no band. Uh, but there's tons of bands here for if you need it, put your knee or foot in the strap uh, to make it just a little bit easier on you for your pull-ups. So uh, starting up at the top, active rest is going to be lat raises. So we're going to lead with the knuckles up, coming up to about the shoulders, and then slow release on the way back down. Don't want to see you flinging them around, uh, be in control of your dumbbells. Okay, keep those uh, nice and light to moderate. Okay, zoomies. Four rounds of 10, okay? Um, everything up here on the board except for the last round I've done here is rounds of 10 today. So what does that mean? That means if you pick really light weight and you zoom through the workout, you're gonna be sitting here twiddling your thumbs for the last 10 minutes because you did it too fast, okay? So slow down and focus on your lifting today, okay? For zoomies, you need to get kind of a bear crawl position where your butt's kind of in the air. You're going to drop down face and chest. You're going to skim across the floor. Then you're extended out like Ariel in the mermaid film, okay? <laughs> up on the rock. And then you're gonna come back the same way you came forward and back into that bear crawl position, okay? Um, you can also do it from your knees, it makes it a lot easier, okay? Uh, don't just run away from that section because it looks hard, it is hard, but it's good for you, okay? Four rounds of 10 on your zoomies. Okay, next one, shrugs is your active rest. So, give yourself some heavy dumbbells, okay? You're gonna bring the uh, shoulders up to your ears and basically you're saying, I don't know, okay? Good squeeze. And then a good slow release on the way back down. Dumbbell bent row. Uh, we did these last week, I think. Really, really like these. Okay, for these, uh, down in that deadlift position, belly button goes in the lap. And then we are bringing the dumbbells to our pockets, okay? We are putting the gun in the holster, okay? Um, we've been seeing all too much of you guys bringing it up to the armpit, and that's what we want to cut out. So we don't want to row it up to our armpit, okay? We want to take it back and put it in our holster pocket, okay? Uh, four rounds of 10 on that. Next we got bench, four rounds of 10, okay? Um, so that means on your first round of 10 is a little bit of a um, experimental weight, okay? Kind of see where you're at, okay? Going down to the center line of the chest and then locking it up. There is no active rest here for the other person because um, you should be spotting your partner if need be. Um, if you do your first round of 10 and it's super easy, then add some more weight. And if you didn't quite get 10, take some weight off. Um, but uh, if your 10 was perfect and you struggled, you could leave that weight okay? Uh, standing reverse fly is our next one for the active rest. Give yourself two and a half pound discs, and you're going to keep those knuckles up high, even with the shoulders, going back and getting a good squeeze in your shoulders in the back. Oh, our partner's got overhead front raise, okay? Get yourself a nice and light bar. Um, light is very key here, okay? Because if you go too heavy, your form is not going to be good, okay? Because then you're going to rock the boat to get that bar up there, okay? To give you kind of a point of reference, when I do these, I just have one black thing on each side, okay? So, I mean, it's, that's, I mean, could you get more? I mean, that's the thing is, can you get more weight above your head? Yes, but you want to focus on getting it up there using just the muscles that we're wanting to work, okay? So up, control, and then the nice slow release, the way down is where you're gonna get a lot of work on this exercise. Uh, so keep it nice and light, so you don't wanna hurt your shoulders, you just wanna work your shoulders, okay? There's a big difference, okay? Four rounds, okay. Uh, next one, close grip press is your active rest. Uh, we're gonna bring it down to the center part, touching, and then locking it out up at the top. Wire partner's got four rounds of tail on flies. Okay, 10 is pretty low rep on flies. So maybe you go heavier than what you normally would. Okay, making sure that our chest is doing the work. Okay, getting a good squeeze at the center part of the fly. And then this last one down here, uh, burnout push-ups for four rounds. Okay, so no active rest here. I just want you to do as many push-ups as you possibly can, okay, for four straight rounds. So uh, you're gonna be resting while your partner does their burnouts and push-ups. Push-ups means we start from our toes. Then we can no longer go from our toes, we go down to our knees, and then we go till we can't go for anymore, okay? Doesn't mean the push-ups get hard and then we stop. It literally means you should be falling on your nose. Thumbs up, yes, everybody got it, okay? All right, let's get 100 jumping jacks for our warm-up, and let's have some fun today.